हाँ स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस कंटिन्यू विद द प्रीवियस टॉपिक दैट इज ऑपरेशन ऑन इटरेटर्स इन स्टैंडर्ड टेम्पलेट लाइब्रेरी सो आई एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द एडवांस ऑपरेशन ऑन इटरेटर्स इन स्टैंडर्ड टेम्पलेट लाइब्रेरी नाउ लेट एस सी द डिस्टेंस ऑपरेशन सो वट इज द यूज ऑफ दिस डिस्टेंस ऑपरेटर सो दिस डिस्टेंस विल रिटर्न नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स सो इट रिटर्न नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स और distance between first and last iterator so either it returns the number of elements or it just uh, distance between the first and last iterator so both are the same so just counts all the elements or the distance between the first and the last iterator the syntax for this distance operation is just you have to write the function name distance iterator first iterator last that's it so this is the operation uh, function of this operation distance syntax let me write the program for the by using this distance hash include i was stream now i'm using the vector hash include vector this vector library contains all these operations functions now i am writing the main program int main so first declare the vector vector int v of 10 so what is this v of 10 i said v of 10 is nothing but it creates a vector of 10 zeros so it creates a vector of 10 zeros now vector int scope resolution operator iterator i comma j so here i am declaring two uh, why because i have to find the this is a first element and the last first iterator and the last iterator i have to find the distance between the first iterator and the last iterator it defines iterator i comma j to the vector of integers now first i have to initialize the first iterator with the beginning it has to points to the beginning of the vector v dot begin so it indicates i now points to beginning of vector okay the j so i pointing to this beginning of the vector means what has j has to points to the end of the vector so then you will get the difference distance between those elements j is equal to v dot end it indicates i now points to end of the vector Okay, so now see out. You have to print the distance. Just you call the function distance i comma j. So then, whenever I call the distance i comma j, it go it enter into this library function and calls that function that is already declared in the vector and performs the operation. And l. So this represents it prints what it prints. It prints ten. because i already created a vector with 10 zeros so it's just print 10 because altogether there are 10 elements so 10 elements are present in the vector okay so that's why it prints 10 as an output this is about the operation distance so still you are having the uh, different operations on iterators in standard template library those are the next previous begin and so let me uh, explain just what is the next operation will do the next will return so these all the same the program is the same you have to just know the concept of that operation so you just declare that function by using with the help of the syntax so what next operation will do it will return nth iterator 
to i that is iterator pointing to nth element from the element pointed by i that is operation of the next let me write the syntax for this next so the syntax for this is you just write the function name next and iterator i and you just declare int n because it is it will return an nth iterator so it has this next operation is having two arguments iterator i comma iterator n now coming to the next operation that is a previous what it will do it will return nth predecessor nth predecessor to i what it means that is iterator pointing to nth predecessor element from the element pointed by i from the element pointed by i so this is same as this next but instead of nth element it pointing to the nth predecessor the syntax for this is uh, previous is just write the function name previous the same as iterator i then int n so this int n points to the nth predecessor now coming to the next function that is begin begin what this begin will do so it just returns an iterator to the starting of the uh, given container start of start of given container syntax for this is just you have to write begin without arguments next end it returns end of a given container it returns end of given container syntax for this is just and without arguments so these are the different operations that are performed on iterators in standard template library so in the next video i'll explain about the function objects that completes the standard template library. Thank you.